Hello everyone and welcome to the Kukuli Bushcraft channel. Okay, so yeah, I filmed this video at a friend's house. We were tanning, tanning some fish skins together and uh, yeah, I'm redoing the introduction because, well, to be honest, a lot of the footage wasn't as good as I would have liked. Uh, <laughs> you will find more professional looking uh, fish skin tanning videos on YouTube. But uh, it is quite a simple process. And to be honest, tanning fish skins is a lot easier than making YouTube videos, I think. <laughs> fish leather by Lotta Rame. Uh, it's, this is quite a handy book. It explains the tanning process and also a few little projects that you can do with your fish skins. Salmon skin is a popular choice, but we're using pike. In Lapland, we have lots of pike. For the tanning solution, we used dried willow bark. There are other barks that can be dried and used, and I'll put a bit of a list in the description. So first, you have to clean all of the flesh off the inside of the fish skin with some kind of a blunt scraper or just a spoon. Then the skin goes into a diluted bark solution. You put inside and you have to stir it for, well, at first, every 10 minutes. Then in three to four hours, you take one third of this liquid out and put strong liquid in. Okay. And then every 24 hours, you again do the same. Take one third out and put strong liquid in. Okay. Now that I'm boiling that as a second batch of the bark. I think I'm gonna improvise, like maybe take one half of this out and put, put all of it in. So Ellie, what do you do for a living? I make name tags for dogs from reindeer antler. This is how they look when they're finished. These are ready to go to their homes. They have a name and a phone number on the back. But there's many different kinds. Look at this stuff. Oi. You don't get to eat none of that stuff, Uni. So you cut a little piece off, and if the inside is all brown, then it's tanned. So the pike skin like this will be tanned in a few days, like salmon skin will be longer. Okay. I think this was already ready two days ago. Yeah, when it's ready. When it's ready, you squeeze it and then you put it in a here is half a deciliter oil one mm -hmm. egg yolk um 300 milliliters of water and uh, a little bit of natural soap Does it have to be natural soap? Mm. Well, some kind of without fragrances and without colorants. Mm -hmm. Okay, no, it's a bunch of that. Okay, and then you uh, do like this for about 10 minutes. Okay. Now for half a day. Mm -hmm. And it's like stiff. And then you soften it by doing all kinds of this in a, such a thin, and especially the edges because they are a bit tougher. In such a thin skin as this pipe skin, you can easily do it with hands, but then like a. a bit bigger 
lot of that. I've actually got something at the farm that would be quite good for that. Yeah, but with pica, yeah. with pica you can do it with just like that. And then you break all the fibers here. So if you have a transparent skin that has been put in a, in a, in a urine tan, it's a transparent. So when you start doing that, you break all the fibers and it becomes white. In all the directions. And if it gets um, dry again, then you spray it with some water to keep working. It's going to get all the oils from your hands, so it's also, it will, it will be very nice and oily and you just have to get it all in there. So this is pike skin, uh, dyed with blue and yellow food coloring. Uh, these are both tanned in urine. But you can see the difference that this is not being um, later softened. So it, it still is like it's thin as a paper. Um, but it's more stiff and it's more it, uh, it keeps the texture of the scales. Whereas this one has been softened. So all the fibers have been broken and um, yeah, I think it has lost some of the prettiness. But Okay, so that's like vegan leather stuff. This one, yeah. uh, we had one of our guides make an ice sheath. She was vegan. Uh, yeah, so that's going to be a nice sheath. And then I, I'll make like a braided string from this and attach it here to hang it. I think. What from the from the fish skin? Yeah, like. Do you think braid. it'll be strong enough? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, okay. I think so because see, yeah. like it's just the Corby canal. Knives, yeah. the salmon skin sheaths, they have uh, leather as a dangler. But I suppose if it's braided, I mean, yeah, that'd be strong enough, wouldn't it? Yeah, I think it has yeah. to be. And this is also a very, this is even a tougher part. This. Yeah, I think it will work. I'll show you when it's done. Okay, so I'll put a link to uh, Ellie's web shop and, uh, and maybe to your Instagram so so you can post the uh, the finished knife sheath there, right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Uh, how long did it take to make the knife? Seven years. <laughs> <laughs> so Ellie started making the knife when she uh, was at the when she worked at the husky farm. Yep, and I just. It was almost ready. It was the whole time it was almost ready. I just didn't have the motivation to finish it. Yeah, well, it looks good now. Until I did. Sometimes things just take time. <laughs> <laughs> right, thanks for watching, everyone. Uh, link to Ellie's website in the, uh, in the description. And I'll see you all soon again for another Kukuli Bushcraft video. Bye for now. Bye. Say bye, Uni. Oh. Bye. <laughs> bye.